One chilly February morning in 1855, the residents of Devon, England awoke to find a bizarre and inexplicable scene. Overnight, a seemingly endless trail of strange, hoof-like footprints had appeared across the snow-covered landscape. The peculiar print stretched across several towns and villages, covering an estimated distance of 40 to 100 miles. This perplexing event, which has come to be known as the Devil's Footprints, continues to captivate and confound researchers to this day. As morning broke on February 9th, residents across Devon noticed the peculiar tracks in the snow. The footprints were approximately four inches long and two and a half inches wide, spaced eight to 16 inches apart, and arranged in a single file line. The pattern suggested that a bipedal creature had created them, yet the hoof-like shape was unlike any known animal tracks. The weather conditions on the previous night were extreme, with heavy snowfall and freezing temperatures. These conditions not only contributed to the preservation of the footprints, but also amplified the sense of mystery surrounding the event. The freshly fallen snow provided a perfect canvas for the mysterious tracks, making them easily visible and distinct. As the news of the mysterious footprints spread, people began to follow the trail, attempting to determine its origin and destination. Depending on the source, the tracks are said to have covered an astonishing distance of 40 to 100 miles. They traverse several towns and villages, including Topsham, Exmouth, Tainmouth, and Dawlish. Further adding to the perplexity of the phenomenon, the footprints were found on various surfaces, from snow-covered fields and gardens, to roads and even the roofs of houses. Some accounts even reported the prints crossing rivers and traversing high walls, seemingly defying the laws of physics and the capabilities of any known creature. As the day progressed and more people discovered the tracks, fear began to grip the affected communities. Many residents refused to leave their homes, while others gathered in churches to pray for protection from what they believed to be a supernatural force. Theories and speculation abounded, with some suggesting that the devil himself had walked among them, leaving his sinister mark on the landscape. Local newspapers were quick to pick up on the story, publishing articles that detailed the strange events and fueling public fascination with the mysterious footprints. The news eventually spread across the country, with national newspapers also covering the phenomenon, further amplifying the sense of fear and intrigue. The enigmatic nature of the devil's footprints has given rise to numerous supernatural theories. The peculiar tracks combined with their seemingly impossible traversal of various surfaces and obstacles led many to believe that a supernatural entity was responsible for the mysterious event. The most popular and enduring supernatural theory is that the devil himself walked through the Devon countryside, leaving a trail of hoof-like footprints in his wake. This idea was fueled by the panic and fear that gripped the affected communities and the widespread belief in the supernatural during the mid-19th century. The notion of the devil visiting Earth and leaving such a tangible and sinister mark captured the imaginations of both locals and people far beyond Devon. Another supernatural theory posits that the mysterious footprints were left by the spirit of a wandering monk or a troubled soul in search of atonement. According to this idea, the entity, possibly burdened with a curse or punishment for previous transgressions, roams the earth as a supernatural being with cloven hooves, creating the puzzling tracks along its path. Some have even speculated that witches or otherworldly beings were responsible for the mysterious footprints. They suggest that the tracks were created by a coven of witches who transformed themselves into creatures with cloven hooves as part of a ritual or to evade detection. Alternatively, the footprints might have been left by supernatural beings such as fairies or elementals, known in folklore to possess the power to shapeshift or create illusions. A less common proposal is that an animal cursed by a malevolent force or a vengeful spirit was the cause of the footprints. This theory suggests that the animal, perhaps a horse or a large dog, was transformed into a creature with cloven hooves and forced to traverse the landscape, leaving the mysterious tracks as a result of the curse. While these supernatural theories for the devil's footprints reflect the human fascination with the unknown and the unexplained, as well as the cultural context of the time, other non-paranormal explanations also exist. 
One posits that the prints were made by hopping rodents such as rabbits or hares, or by birds. This would explain the single-file pattern of the prints, as these animals would have hopped or fluttered from one spot to another, leaving a line of footprints behind. However, critics of this theory argue that it's unlikely that such a large number of animals could have moved in such a coordinated manner across such a vast distance. Another suggests that the entire event was either a hoax or an exaggeration. In the mid-19th century, the British press was notorious for sensationalizing stories, and the devil's footprints may have just been another example of that tendency. It is possible that the prints were made by pranksters, who then capitalized on the public's fascination with the supernatural to create a lasting myth. A more scientifically grounded explanation proposes that the footprints were the result of an unusual atmospheric phenomenon. This theory contends that the prints were formed by the rapid freezing and thawing of the snow, which could have led to the formation of ice crystals that created the appearance of footprints. However, this explanation also fails to account for the sheer scale of the phenomenon and the uniformity of the prints. While the Devil Footprints of Devon, England remain the most famous example, there have been other instances of mysterious footprints appearing in various locations worldwide. Although these events may not be directly related, they demonstrate the potential for similar phenomena to occur. In February 1909, residents of Woodbury, New Jersey were startled to discover a series of bizarre tracks resembling kangaroo footprints in the snow. The tracks covered a distance of several miles and were found on rooftops, fences, and even frozen bodies of water. As with the Devil's Footprints, no satisfactory explanation was ever provided for the mysterious tracks. In 1975, a series of small, three-toed footprints were discovered in a remote area of Western Australia, prompting widespread speculation and media coverage. The tracks which were found in the dusty soil rather than snow were attributed by some to mythical creatures like gnomes or other supernatural beings. Despite several investigations, no definitive explanation was found for these unusual footprints. In 2013, villagers in a rural area of Bangladesh reported the sudden appearance of mysterious footprints in their fields. The tracks, which resembled human footprints, were said to have appeared overnight and continued for several miles. As with the Devil's Footprints, local residents were left frightened and bewildered by the unexplained phenomenon, with some believing that the tracks were the work of a supernatural entity. As the years pass, the Devil's Footprints continue to intrigue researchers, enthusiasts, and the general public alike. The mystery has been revisited time and time again, with new theories and explanations emerging in an attempt to shed light on the bizarre event. Paranormal investigators have been particularly drawn to the story, seeking to find evidence of supernatural activity in the prints. Modern-day researchers continue to investigate the devil's footprints using contemporary technology and methods. By revisiting historical records, analyzing the affected area's geography and topography with satellite imagery, as well as assessing animal behavior and track patterns, researchers have hoped to paint a clearer picture of the incident. Moreover, meteorological and climatic studies have helped establish the precise weather conditions on the fateful night, providing context for understanding the footprint's appearance and preservation. Investigators have also conducted interviews and collected oral histories from the descendants of those who experienced the Devil's Footprints firsthand, offering a unique perspective of the event and its impact on the local community. However, despite all the recent investigation, the definitive explanation for the Devil's Footprints still remains elusive, ensuring that the mystery continues to captivate and inspire new generations of researchers. Perhaps the most enduring aspect of this tale is the way in which it had captured the human imagination. The event serves as a reminder to the power of the unknown and the unexplained, and the lengths to which we will go in our attempts to make sense of the world around us. Whether the footprints were the work of an animal, a hoax, a natural phenomenon, or something altogether more sinister, they remain a testament to the enduring allure of the mysterious and the inexplicable.